and today I'm going to be doing a collective book haul. These books have been accumulated since June and still I am shocked at how many there are because this is a huge book haul. <laughs> I believe there are 25 books here and I don't know how that happened but it did. So we're just going to ignore how embarrassed I am about that and maybe in doing a book haul this seems alright. Maybe. But no, quite a lot of these books were bought secondhand or received from publishers so I didn't actually buy all these but I'll say with each one where I got it from anyway so yeah. And I'm probably going to hate myself when it comes to doing the subtitles because this is going to be one heck of a long video so <laughs> get comfy guys because I'm going to ramble. Let's just jump right in. So the first two books kind of go together because they are Assassin's Apprentice and Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. I mentioned on Twitter a while ago that I wanted to try Robin Hobb books because everybody who loves fantasy seems to have a thing for Robin Hobb as well and I want in on that. So when I tweeted about it, Charlotte who is at Bookmarks Blogging on Instagram tweeted me and said that she had these two books which she didn't want anymore and she would kindly send them my way. So thank you very much Charlotte. I'm currently reading this first one as you can tell from the bookmark. I'm only about 50 pages in so far so I can't really say my thoughts on it yet but this is about a boy who is the illegitimate son of royalty and he is raised to be the royal assassin. I believe there's also magic involved as well but I don't really know too much yet so we'll wait and see but yeah that's these two books. <laughs> the next book I got was The Falconer by Elizabeth May. This was very kindly gifted to me by Karina and Christine. I'll leave their usernames up above somewhere. But towards the end of June I actually met Karina and Christine and it honestly just made my life because it was amazing. And when they came to visit me they very kindly gave me some gifts. It was all very Scottish based which I'm just here for to be honest. And I believe this is one of Christine's favourite series so they gave me the first book and I'm actually buzzing about it because... Ugh. But this is about a girl whose mother was murdered by a fairy and in response to that she secretly kills fairies for revenge. I have absolutely no doubt that I'm going to love this book to be honest so I can't wait to get into it and thank you very much Karina and Christine for giving it me. Look at the little cargo! <laughs> this next book I bought which was Strange Tales from Chinese Studio by Pu Songling. This is a collection of really short Chinese folklore stories and this was in my most recent wrap up because I read it pretty much the second I got it. It was a bit hit and miss for me because I did enjoy it but it became really repetitive and yeah I am still really glad that I read it though because at the time I bought it I wanted books that were really different to my usual reads which is exactly what this was so yeah fab. The next lot of books are very Greek based. Basically what happened is that at the very beginning of July it was my results day and I had saved up money to be able to treat myself with books when that happened. Whether I passed or failed, I needed retail therapy in the form of books, so that's what happened. By the way, I did actually pass, so whoop. But around the same time, like I said, I was wanting books that were very different from my usual reads. I wanted a break from YA and I'd become very invested in ancient Greek mythology. So you're going to see a theme in these next few books. <laughs> the first one I bought was The Iliad by Homer, which centres around four days I believe towards the end of the Trojan War. You see people like Achilles, Patroclus, Agamemnon, Hector and just the works of the Trojan War over these few days. This again was in my most recent wrap up but as a summary of my thoughts I did really enjoy this one but again I rated it about 3.5 stars because it's very detailed on the names and it really slowed me down but I am really glad I read it so yeah. And I also bought The Odyssey by Homer, which is the story of Odysseus. <laughs> this is the story of Odysseus's journey home, which is basically a 10 year voyage because a lot of stuff goes down. I've not yet read this one, but I am really glad that I picked it up because 
I found out this is actually on my uni reading list, so I'm going to get to read it before actually going to university, which was a very happy coincidence. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to enjoy this one more than the Iliad just because it's more of a journey rather than just flat out war, but we shall see because I'm hoping to read this one in August. I also picked up The Library of Greek Mythology by Apollodorus, which is a collection of the Greek myths. I recently read this and it was a bit meh for me because I did really enjoy reading the original myths, but each story began with a very detailed explanation of every hero's lineage, which took a while, a very long while. <laughs> I do feel like I kind of rushed it because I was trying to finish it before I went away on holiday. So I think I'm going to revisit this at some point and read it at a slower pace and really take it in, but that's pretty much my thoughts on it for now. I also picked up The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is a very popular book about a group of college students that are very into Greek and Roman society, I guess? Like that's all they study at college, it's just all the ancient civilizations and things like that. Everybody seems to love this book. I swear to god everybody loves it and it kind of let it down for me because I didn't love it that much. It was alright, I did enjoy it but I just didn't love it. I hated all the characters. I can see why everybody else loves it but for me it was just a bit too much built up hype wise but yeah that's, that's that to be honest. <laughs> I also picked up The King Must Die by Mary Renault, which is a retelling of the Minotaur story. And that's pretty much all I know about this one. <laughs> Mary Renault actually has so many books that are retellings of Greek myths. It took me ages to decide which one to buy, but in the end I settled for this one because I quite like the Minotaur story, so I figured it would be a good place for me to start. The next three books are books that I found on my university reading list. I didn't want to go ahead and buy all the books that I found on this reading list just in case it changed but these three seem to be the main ones for different modules and I'm actually quite interested in so even if I didn't end up reading it for university I probably still would read it anyway but I found them all secondhand on Amazon and when I did my dad said that he would actually buy them for me because all you really needed to pay was for postage so that was very nice of him so thank you dad. The first one is Metamorphosis by Ovid all I know about this one is that it's an epic poem. Just a very long poem. <laughs> but I will do, eventually, because university means I have to read this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, kind of mad I had to buy this specific edition because it's ugly. Look at it. It's vile. <laughs> Ugh. The next one is the one that you can really tell that I got second hand because it's really battered, but I don't really mind because I'm gonna end up writing in them and things. But I also have to read Ulysses by James Joyce, which is bloody huge. I did not look into this before buying it, so I was actually shook when I realised how huge this book is. But again, I have to read it for UNA, so I figured I'd get it. I believe this one is a modern retelling of The Odyssey. That's pretty much all I can glean from the blurb because it's not much of a blurb at all, so I will find out when I start UNA. And for the war module, we have to read All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Miraku. I apologise if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I've actually been meaning to read this for about three years or something, so I'm really glad it's on my university reading list because I'm finally going to read it. Like, I actually have to now, so no excuses on my part. <laughs> this, I believe, is just the story of war from German soldiers' point of view. I'm not entirely sure because it has been that long since reading the blurb and there isn't a blurb on the back of this edition, so... I'm so great at this. <laughs> and while I was looking at all those ones secondhand, I kind of found another book secondhand which I really didn't need but I also really did need because... It's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. <laughs> if you know me at all or if you've been on this channel at all, you just might know that this is my all-time favourite book. So I already have two editions of this but now I have three because look at it, it is just amazing. It has red pages and it's white when all the rest of them are black and it is gorgeous. And it's my favourite book so 
This is not the sort of book that everyone will love because it is really slow going. This is just about a circus that appears. There's no warnings that precede it. There's no announcements made that it's coming. It just appears and it's all very magical and I love it. And I just, I needed the pretty edition. The next set of books were sent to me by publishers or authors, so I'm just going to whisk through these really quickly. The first one is Here We Are Now by Jasmine Warger. This was sent to me unsolicited by Hodder and Staunton, so thank you very much Hodder. This, I believe, is a contemporary about a girl who sends letters to a rock star, I think. And she never expects to meet them, but one day they turn up on her doorstep. I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading this one because it doesn't seem like my sort of thing but I am very grateful for being sent it and I'll try it at some point. If I don't end up wanting it then I might do a giveaway at some point but who knows. <laughs> I was also sent Home is Nearby by Magdalena Maguire. This was sent to me by Impress Box, so thank you very much. This is set in 1980 at the start of the Polish crisis. It's based on a girl who goes to university to study art but then martial law is declared and her and her friends sort of go against that. I haven't read that much about Poland. In fact I don't think I've read anything about Poland. So I'm very intrigued to see what this is about and sort of expand my knowledge in the history of Poland because I don't really know anything about it. So I'm very intrigued about this one. <laughs> by Walker Books I was sent Truth or Dare by Non Pratt so thank you very much Walker Books. This, I actually can't remember what it's about, I know it's a contemporary and you read one side of the story and then when you get to the middle you flip the book over and read the other side. But there isn't actually a blurb on this book. I tried looking inside, it's not there and obviously there isn't a back to the book so. <laughs> but if you want to find out more about this book I'll leave the link down below. By Penguin I was sent Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo which I'm really excited about. I don't actually know that much about Wonder Woman, I've not seen the film and I haven't read any of the comics or anything so I'm very intrigued to see if this is a good place to start. I believe this is kind of like an origin story or it's at least Wonder Woman when she was younger because it is young adult so we'll see how this one goes. From Bloomsbury I was sent Cersei by Madeline Miller which I actually squealed about when I found out I was getting it. That was quite a day. <laughs> this is a retelling of Cersei's story who is a sorceress who appears briefly in the Odyssey and oh my god this is just, this is a new favourite of mine. It is amazing. I loved it. I'm pretty sure this was in my last wrap up so you can go and check that out but honestly I am so excited for this to be released properly because then everyone can squeal about it with me. Oh, it's amazing. And I was also sent The Changeling's Journey by Christine Spores. Christine sent this to me. I am a friend of Christine's. I mentioned her earlier in the video when I said that I met her and her sister at the end of June. And I am so proud of Christine for self-publishing her own book. I have recently read this and I just, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because I'm biased because she's my friend but it is honestly amazing. This is a fantasy based on Scottish folklore, it's about a changeling who goes on a journey as you might expect. <laughs> I'm not going to say it any more than that because I don't want to give away too much of the story but I honestly just loved everything about this book. I haven't yet collected my thoughts into a comprehensible babble so you're just going to get me saying that this is amazing for now but it will be in my next wrap up so keep an eye out for that one. And the final lot I got while I was on holiday so this kind of goes into August as well because I was on holiday from the end of July to August. Anyway, the first one is really random because my nan gave it to me but it's Private Vegas by James Patterson and Maxine Petra I think. Basically my nan is a huge fan of James Patterson and she's making her way through all of his books but she hadn't realised that she'd already read this one before she bought it, so then I ended up with it. All I know is it's crime, so if there's ever a day when I'm feeling that, I'm sorted. <laughs> My nan also got me American Gods by Neil Gaiman, this is the movie tie-in cover, or TV tie-in cover. I've been kind of intrigued about this one for ages and my nan was in the works where you can get three books for £5. She had two books and then she couldn't find another one and they had this one so she kind of threw that one in for me 
I don't really know much about this one other than gods and it's really big and everyone loves Neil Gaiman and George R. R. Martin likes Neil Gaiman <laughs> and that's about as far as that thought process goes. <laughs> These next two books I found in a charity shop and I wasn't going to get them at first because I already have loads of books but they were 50p each. Like I got both of these books for a pound. I couldn't leave that. <laughs> so the first one is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. This is a historical fiction, it's set in 1895 and it's about a girl who lives in India but then she's sent to a boarding school in England. I believe she has visions that she has to try and stop. That's all I really know to be honest but it's historical fiction so I'm sold. <laughs> and I also picked up Mrs Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I've not read any Virginia Woolf and I figured I should start because why not? <laughs> all the blurb says is that Mrs Dalloway is setting up her house for a party and while she's doing so she keeps getting memories so I'm very intrigued by that because it's very very big. <laughs> and these final two books I bought while in a Waterstones on holiday. Basically I walked in only intending to get one book but then I immediately found an entire bookcase of Penguin English Library classics so I couldn't not. <laughs> I picked up Where Angels Fear to Tread by Ian e. Forster which sounds a lot like his book A Room with a View which if you've been on this channel for a while you might know that I absolutely love that book so I decided to pick up another one of his. This one is about a woman who is an embarrassment to her family because it's in the Edwardian times and she's gone to Italy and had an affair with an Italian man so it does sound very similar to A Room with a View but I really like that one so I can't really go wrong to be honest. And the final book was the one that I actually went in to buy. Basically whenever I visit somewhere new I like to get a book from that place as my souvenir because I don't really like key rings and crap like that. So I buy a book and this was the one I was looking for. The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Like with the Robin Hood books, everybody who loves fantasy seems to love Brandon Sanderson books, especially this trilogy. Again, I just wanted in on that. I want to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> no matter how many times I've read this blurb, I can't seem to take in what it's about, but it just sounds like a fantasy world, something about a rebellion and criminal masterminds. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> and that is all for this very large haul. <laughs> this might be my last haul for a while because I don't plan on buying any more books unless it's for university, so, I don't know, I might end up doing a separate university book haul because I will end up buying quite a few books for university but that depends on if you guys want to see that or not so let me know. If you've read any of these books then please do let me know your thoughts, if I should prioritise certain ones then again let me know. All the links for the books will be down in the description box along with my social media links. I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!